Hey gang, it's Phoenix. Quick, hopefully, video. I just want to talk about the Star Wars trailer. Technically it's the final trailer, but I'm pretty sure it's like the only like real official full length one that we've gotten. Because I consider that other long form one that we got where we saw the uh, Star Destroyer in the background on Jakku more of a extended teaser. Anyhow, um, trailer three, the official trailer, the final trailer, whatever you want to call it, came out last night. And I have to give Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams, whoever was in charge of putting it online, massive credit. Because rather than making a bunch of nerds who aren't really into football watch a football game just for a trailer, they put it online at the exact same time that it was airing on TV. So... Once we all knew when it was going to be on TV, roughly about halfway through last night's Giants-Eagles game, uh, which would have been because I think the game started around like 8.15 Eastern time, so that probably would have been like 9.30, 10, um, because football takes for freaking ever to play. Um, it was online. And, oh, oh. This is not going to be an actual reaction video because, frankly, I don't want to do one of those, even though everybody and their mother has been doing one. Um, but just all I'm going to say is all of the yes. Just so much yes, happiness, just oh my god. So much yay. Ah! Oh, man. It does what a trailer should. It basically gets you hyped without giving anything away. I mean, I'm aware of some of the theories and speculation that are out there, but other than that, I know nothing about this movie in terms of plot and anything. Nobody does. So, bravo J.J. Abrams for doing that. Oh, God. Oh. I... Every time that I've seen the trailer, and I've seen it about a half dozen times now since I saw it last night, I've been grinning like a giddy schoolboy. Oh, God. The hype is very, very real. I'm so excited. I was already anticipating the movie highly before we got this trailer, but now, oh my God, can it be December already? Um, my favorite thing is... I go in and I get tickets before I left to go to a thing that I was at last night. Had no luck. Fandango was timing out on me and doing all that jazz. Get back shortly after midnight, and after watching the trailer a couple times, I pop over to Fandango, and I get tickets for opening night. Yes! Now, granted, I am seeing it in 3D, um, but it's opening night. I'm going to see Star Wars opening night. Um, and I know some people will say, well, why are you doing it on IMAX 3D? Honestly, I mean, I know it's Star Wars, and I probably will end up seeing it in IMAX 3D, but I'm just gonna go with standard 3D. Um, just because it's, it was easier for me to get that, um, to be perfectly honest. And I'm not really one of those people that always says, you have to see a movie like Star Wars or x other movie in imax 3d or in imax to get the full experience every other star wars movie that i've seen <clears throat> i've either seen on <clears throat> my parents big screen tv at their house or i've seen in the theaters those being episodes one two and three but we don't talk about the prequels so, and that's been on a standard movie screen, not 3D or anything, or IMAX. So, because 3D wasn't around when the prequels came out. But yeah, anyhow, oh my god, Star Wars Force Awakens, yes! I need to go rewatch 4, 5, and 6 now, which I'm definitely going to do. Alright, rock on guys, see you in the next.